right, I'm going to be demonstrating to you um, some new materials. I'm going to be showing you how to use a chamois and some tortillons or blending stumps. And I also wanted to talk to you about uh, pencil extenders. So this pencil got kind of short, and it's about this time in the semester when this might be kind of, your pencil might be getting short, and you can use this extender to lengthen your pencil, which really is very helpful. So these are an art store item. You might be able to find them online as well. All right, so let's look at our stump. So I'm gonna make some value here with a 4B pencil. I'll also use an 8B, create some value to this. And then let's use our stumps. So this is a kind of medium size, and this is a kind of smaller medium size. This is a little size. When I work, I usually work with a medium size and a small size. This means that I can really get into different areas. And I like to work with a, a clean side and a dirty side. So just to clean the stump, you use the sandpaper pad and rub it while turning it on the sandpaper pad. And you can do both sides. It's important that you, if you're going between charcoal and graphite, that you clean your stump between each medium because uh, charcoal and graphite do not mix very well together. All right, so I just ripped off a piece to show you that you can change it to clean it. All right, so now um, you to use your stump, you want to move in circular strokes, pushing quite hard. You can see that my finger is really pushing hard in here. My finger is actually turning a little red to pressure, so really push hard to get yourself a dirty side and a clean side. So this is useful, the stump is useful for blending, you can see how nicely this blends here, but it's also useful for creating value and adding value to a drawing that's a little bit softer and more evenly blended very quickly. So you can see that I can just rub it on here and it creates nice soft value, which is very useful for things like parts of the face where it's very delicate shading. And as I rotate it, it might have a different value. You can see because it's dirtier in certain areas. So um, just, you know, blending the 8B is not really any different here. Circular strokes. And sometimes when I work, I like to have a scrap piece of paper in the corner that I use just to get dirty, just to get my stump dirty and um, as a sample. Try to see if I have anything. And when I draw, I like to have a little scrap piece of paper and then I can like use this piece of paper to create value, get my stump dirty and transfer it to my page. Highly recommend having a scrap piece like this for just getting your stump dirty. And bear in mind, what's interesting is I used an 8B to do this, and an 8, if you do this with an 8B, it's gonna be much softer in terms of what it's putting down than a 4B. You can use 4B, maybe on the other side. Get my stump dirty with a 4B, and it's, it's lighter right? It's going to be lighter and a little harder than this 8B. So yeah, so that's scrap paper. And so I, I, the smaller stumps are useful just for like getting tiny areas like you might need to get into a smaller area. And it also has another side. I like the double-sided stumps much better than the single-sided stumps because you have two stumps in one. You can keep a side dirty and a side clean. I keep my side clean because sometimes you do not want to go into an area and add more value with a dirty stump. Sometimes you want to just blend out an area with a clean stump that's already the value that you want, but just you want it a little bit smoother. If I would go in with my dirty stump, I would just add more value, and that may not be what I want. So having a clean side and a dirty side is very useful. All right, so the next thing we're gonna look at with the sanding pad, um, the chamois. So a chamois is also very useful for blending, and I didn't have you guys buy a chamois, but I highly recommend the chamois. 
Uh, you can get these, like this is the same thing that people use on your cars. Um, mine's pretty dirty, you can clean them with soap and water and let them dry. So the chamois is extremely useful, you gotta find a clean area, for blending smooth areas and just picking up a little bit of value, just a touch of value. You can see that that just blended this stuff right out. Definitely picks up some things, making it lighter. And so it moves value and it also smooths things out. You could also add a little value with a chamois as well. So that's a chamois, some stumps, and a pencil extender.